Top of the morning to you, or afternoon or evening, whenever you may be watching. My name is Scott, I represent the SLN Game Slam here with Sergio to bring you the 26th episode of the Pokemon Blue Nuzlocke. Let's do a quick, brief team recap. Just going straight down the line here, we have the level 32 Snorlax, Joe Benny, followed by Dan, comma CPA, the level 32 Jolteon, who finally has an electric attack that does damage besides Thunder Wave. Next up, we have Kevin, the Pidgeotto, level 32. Next up on the list, we have Austin, the newly evolved Charizard, our favorite member of the team, to be completely biased. Followed by Brian, the level 32 Venomoth, probably my second favorite member of the team. And last but not least, Cornus Boy, level 32, Nido Queen. So yes, you heard many level 32s. The team is looking nice and balanced, uh, but we do have some work we still need to do before getting to the Fuchsia Gym. And I couldn't remember if we battled this guy or not, um, I, I just went back to the, uh, the part of the route that kind of weaves in and out and I just parked it right here just in case it was someone we had not battled yet and that was the case. So this is like one of those trainers I was getting frustrated with last episode because frankly we're, we're really not getting much of a reward um, for all of these little birds. Um, of course, I don't love seeing the more powerful evolutions because they have tragically hurt our team in the past, but we're just not getting much experience here. So yeah, like one Firo, that's going to be decent experience, um, but honestly it's just one of those things where it's sort of a time waster in my opinion, but it's still necessary to get the experience we need and that cash flow. So, JB growing to 33. Hashtag bars. We'll get a little launch money from this man who says not ready yet. So let's switch up. We'll throw Dan in the front since we've been seeing a lot of bird keepers. Should be another trainer over here. And he says you need to use TMs to teach good moves to Pokemon. That is true. However, they are not the easiest to find. I know we've, I believe we've stashed Ice Beam away. I didn't teach that to A-Bag, did I? I? I think we stashed that away. I, I can't remember at this point. Um, I hope I do not eat Crow, um, eat Murkrow in that case. I, I think we still have the TM, but it's been a little while and that is a tragic memory that I try not to think about. So, thankfully, even though it is not the most powerful of moves, Thundershock is better than nothing from the electric department, and uh, I'll take it. It's nice to see Dan able to spread his metaphorical electric wings a little bit, although he could not one-hit KO. Well, Quick Attack's going to clean it up. So, down goes Pidgeotto. 600-ish experience, not the best. But we've taken down another bird keeper. And I am fairly confident that we should be able to get through the rest of this route today. Um, okay, we already we already faced that guy. So we're good on the left side. This is this is your I don't even know. I think is this left for all of us? I don't know if this thing flips around when I put it in the edit editing chamber. But I believe. Yep, we fought you at the start. We're going to continue basically where we left off last time, which is the Glitchy Bridge. At least that's what I'm going to coin it after we saw some people sort of fade into a mirage and appear from there. So let's see if that happens again as we travel east here. Oh, not so glitchy this time. Not so glitchy this time. But we have someone startling us who found carbs in a cave once. Gotta love those cave carbs just living off the land. So we get a junior 
Trainer who has a Goldeen, also a great matchup for Dan. So nice to have him up here in the front, just firing away T-Shocks. And that's going to critical hit, send you right to Davy Jones' locker. And we got a Poliwag coming up next. No problem for our boy. Hitting the bullseye right in the hard candies. Growing to level 33, so I will take it. He's cracked 100 speed now. And uh, let's get somebody else involved. I think uh, Kevin could be a good, good one to, to use here. As we continue spreading the wealth. As we all know, Memory X is filled with a wealth of nutrients and vitamins. So a wing attack hopefully cleans up shop at the Horsey Express here. And it does not. Of course, my calcs were just a tad off. Down goes the Horsey now. And Junior Trainer is defeated. Just messed up. You done messed up up. So at this point, I'm going to put Austin back in the front, funnel some more experience his way because this very well, this next gym very well might be one where we need to go solo ham with the starter. Uh, have you ever found a moonstone? Yes, we have. We have used it. But you know, I was doing a little more thinking and with Koga's ace being a Brian of his own, Austin really is a perfect matchup for that. So, we're going to want to get him going as much as possible. Just get the momentum going. And uh, I did look up Charizard's learn set for first generation. And unfortunately, we are not going to get Flamethrower until level thir or 46 so that's gonna be down the road if we make it just gotta be real just gotta throw that possibility out there but uh, that is gonna be down the road so let's use our boy to cut this shrub and battle this gentleman who says you never know what you could catch especially in a randomizer which I have never done myself, but I have watched many, and they are very intriguing. And level 24 Magikarp, probably going to give us... Let's, let's see what that experience is. Yeah, 102. Wow. How, how neat is that? How neat is that? I know I got cheeky with the speed up button, but I just get... Uh, get frustrated with some of the lack of experiences you get from these guys and he's given us 800 bucks that's decent uh we found an iron and isn't it iron on nick tried to try to jumble that together that this shrub grew back after that battle that seems kind of glitchy but nonetheless we will continue i think we're we got to be getting closer to lavender um, I'm the fishing guru's brother. I simply love fishing. Do you like to fish? I like your style. Take this young one. Ooh, we got the super rod. And he says fishing is a way of life. So, my goodness. I think, uh, if I'm correct, which it seems like this is the, the longest route ever, um, I don't think we can get a new encounter. I, I still think this is... The same one that we got Brian in. It's been continuously the same music, which is what I'm judging it off. So in that case, we might be able to stockpile the Super Rod for another city encounter down the road. This, of course, is what Nickman would have evolved into, but we would be putting up with moves such as Screech, as you can see here on the screen. Um, for quite some time and uh, your boy didn't have the patience for that so down goes electrode nice bit of experience there and the rocker says unplugged nice very nice so we will continue north we got another Snorlax here and because this is duplicates um, 
I think this is actually a good experience opportunity. Uh, of course, we cannot catch this one, but we can battle it and get some nice experience. So, Snorlax woke up, it attacked in a grumpy rage. Like I said, every time an alarm clock goes off, that is me right there. So, I don't anticipate any problems here. Um, Austin is much stronger than he was when we went up against the wild Joe Benny uh, before we tamed him. And that headbutt did a healthy chunk, but uh, no problem for our boy here. Of course he's going to rest up. Of course he's going to just take a nice nap in uh, physics class, but uh, a couple slashes here should bring him low, potentially knock him out, and we should be able to wrap this one up before he wakes up. So he did wake up. Um, I'll go Ember just to be safe. And down goes the Snorlax. 660. You know, I really thought we would have got more than that, honestly. Calm down with a big yawn at return to the mountains. I do not know if I was aware that these majestical beasts lived in the mountains. So what do we have to the left here? Is this a trip to Saffron? Oh, that's to uh, frickin' Vermilion. That's the Vermilion passageway, I believe. As you can see, we had already faced those trainers. They're from a past life of ours. Another fisherman, I'm judging by the looks of it. He says, I'd rather be working. Man, I cannot agree with you at all. We're having a nice Memorial Day weekend here. Not sure if this one will go up by the time the weekend is over, but oh, level 21. Come on, man. This is old news. Hopefully that's, no, nope, that's not a no-co. All right, we'll switch to fly after this polywag. What can you do? Our weakest member of the team, per use. We got a shelter coming up next. Definitely gonna fly on that one. But, uh, you know, when I see leveling like this, it makes me wonder, like, what order this game wanted you to go in. Did it want you to face these trainers before, like, the Celadon gym? Or, I really don't know. But, we were seeing some all the way up to 29, I think, later in the route. And I know I'm going backwards directionally. Whoo! Nice little squeaky there. Um, directionally. Didn't mean to use fly there, but whatever. Um, but it really makes you think. Like, where do they expect you to grow enough experience to get to the levels necessary for that Fuchsia Gym? Because we saw a level 38 as soon as we walked in. Um, you know, do they want you to go to Saffron and do... Sylph Co. first. I really don't know. Um, we're, we're not going to jump ahead that much. Um, I am a chicken. I am a chicken, but uh, I think that even that would be a little unnecessary. We are going to finish this route, though, and reassess the team from there first. So, for a solo trainer having a 27, um, still definitely on the lower end. We haven't even had to heal anyone up. Um, not trying to brag too much, but we have not even had to heal anyone. So, of course, we're dodging that in the air. Taking a pack, which did a decent amount. I'll use wing attack to wrap up this goldine. Not quite, not quite. Horn attack did a chunk, but down you go. I don't know if you can tell, I've got a little bit of cabin fever going on um, just from the standpoint of doing these kind of lame battles for now a third episode in a row um, without any addition to the storyline um, or really besides evolving our members. Um, just nothing too exciting going on. I've got a little bit of cabin fever, but 
Huh, as you can see, these are encounters we need to do uh, before Fuchsia. I mean, Koga was looking pretty strong there, so um, I am hoping we're towards the end here and we'll be able to jump into that gym soon enough. Uh, he said Goldeen was next. This was actually kind of a dumb move on my end, but you know, it seems like these were using mostly like horn attack type stuff. Anyways, plus our boy is gonna be doing some fat damage right away. So we'll two shot it. I didn't think about it until after I clicked on him that uh, it was a water type. So a little rusty as well as feverish from the cabin here. So I will put, I'll put Brian in the front and we'll continue. We gotta be close, I would think. We gotta be close. Um, so that would be a surf opportunity, but I don't think we can use it until we defeat Koga. I believe it's a restricted use until we battle him. So we got Goldeen 22. Yeah, these really are, um, and what's, what's Leech Life gonna do? Yeah, not too much. We're gonna switch Brian out. We're gonna switch Brian out. He's really only um, effective in battles where he's got the type advantage, to be completely honest. Um, just telling it like it is, I really wish he had Psychic or anything better than Leech Life, but that's just the way it is right now. Um, with that, I'm gonna keep Dan in. Do a little thunder shock. And take down this poly wag. One more Pokemon coming from this fisherman. Thunder shock, down you go. And that will wrap up that battle. I'm squeaking again just because I'm getting a little bored here, but the fisherman is no more. Okay, how, how many more of you are there? How many more of you? We gotta be... Okay, I think that is the end. I think that is the end. Ooh, I was wrong. Um, I want to say we battled some of these trainers, if any, um, before... Okay, before we advance. So, I'm gonna heal up here. I'm gonna heal up if I can find where we're going. And then we will embark on the Future City Gym. Let's do it. And let's see if our levels are anywhere to the point of competency that they should be. So let's hop on the back of our good friend Kevin and fly Southwest Airlines flying real south. Who do we want to lead off with is the question. Brian seems a little risky. Let's go Cornus Boy. Let's lead off with him and hop right into this gym and see what we see. So that was our friend with the Hypno. What is your situation, sir? I wanted to become a ninja, so I joined this gym. Okay. Ugh. I hate this chair. <laughs> Drowsy level 31. We can handle. We can handle. We can absolutely handle. Let's see a horn drill. Not gonna happen. This was actually kind of dumb leaving him in. I'm just realizing how dumb that was. So let's switch right into Austin. Let's switch right into Austin. Probably gonna have to take a confusion. He doubled out. He doubled out. These guys are for real. These guys are for real. But uh, slash crick and a one shot, yeah. And your buddy who's gonna hit the field next. So level 31s on a four Pokemon team. Um, we are in the big leagues now, people. Which means I'm gonna need to slow my roll a little bit and actually take these battles a little more intelligently because as we saw, I kept Cornus Boy in against a Drowsy 
uh, just a second ago. So this should be the last drowsy we're going to leave Austin in and take you out with a slash. So I definitely think of Koga as a poison gym leader, um, but so far we have seen nothing but psychic types. So that is sort of interesting to see a dual typing of sorts. Um, at this point, I am going to put Jobany in the front and continue on with this trainer who says, I also study the way of the ninja with Master Koga. Ninja have a long history of using animals. Well, I am ninja. He is ninja. She is ninja too. And I I'm about to give up on this. This is going to be the last episode of this one. Ugh. I'm just getting too obese. Just, oh, shoot. I'm breaking it. Alright, I'll be right back with another chair. This one's a lot better. Can't believe I've never used it. Oh, falling apart at the studio here. But we're seeing an Arbok. Okay, let's go for a Skull Bash. Hopefully not getting poisoned. And we're lowering our head. We are getting paralyzed though, but connecting nonetheless. Look how much taller I'm sitting. This was definitely the move. So you're gonna leer me, but if we can break through here, we're gonna headbutt and get the knockout, getting four digits of experience. And with a sand slash coming out next, let's go to Kevin. I think that's a decent matchup here. I'm gonna hit it with a sand attack to start. Because although you have sand in your name, I'm going to throw some sand in your face as we see it already paying dividends. This was definitely a better chair. I'm never using that one again. Um, so we're going to fly in. Oh boy, that's not doing much at all. So let's swap out here. I'm going to go to Austin. But this is one of those moments where I wish we had a certain Gyarados. So Slash, we've already hit you with the Sand, now we're hitting you with the Slash. And even with that critical hit, um, it's not doing a ton. But another one will do the trick. Splitting a little experience there, and we see another Arbot coming out. That's a decent Brian matchup. Um, it just smells Risk to me. Let's go Dan. Because I know, although we would be dishing out super effective damage, we would be receiving it as well. So I'm gonna lead off with Thunder Wave. I'm just gonna be ultra conservative now that we are at this um, same type of leveling. And let's see what Thunder Shock does. Decent chunk, decent chunk. And we're fully para, para-ing, is that a verb? Um, all day. So hopefully one more gonna do the trick. Nice job, Dan, nice job. So we defeat the Tamer, who says, Awu, Werewolves of London. Let's Paralyze Heal our friend here. Let's also give a Lemonade to this man here. And let's put him back in the front, because by and large, I think he's going to be the best matchup for this team, uh, or for this gym, rather. So, next up, we have another man with a dented forehead who says, Stop right there, our invisible walls have you frustrated. Yes, they do, um, but they actually don't seem entirely invisible. I don't know if you guys have been following that outline there, but I think I have this guy figured out. I'm going to give a horn drill a shot. Not going to work on our behalf, and sand attack is going to get real annoying real quick. And Cornus Boy really not dealing out the best of damage. I'm going to switch to Austin. I think that's going to be our best bet. 
and I'm gonna be as conservative as it takes at this point. Sugar, not a fan of that. You just don't like to see that, but a slash of our own doing nice damage. I love how often it's a critical hit in this generation, um, unless it's on that end, of course. Uh, but hopefully one more slash crit will do the trick. Yes, it does. Saying goodbye to that sand slash. Austin growing to 38, like to see that. And Tamer will send out an Arbok. Um, as we saw last time, that was a good Dan matchup. That was a good Dan matchup. So we will throw him right back in here. Thunder Wave, gonna be conservative. I'm a broken record, but uh, we're trying to keep this lock from being broken. So I'll drop a couple Thunder Shocks and nice critical hit there from our boy. And his paralysis is doing extra work today. So we'll wrap it up with a quick attack. That should be the end of this juggler, or tamer rather. Did not mean to assume your occupation. With that, now that I've broken a chair, uh, finished up the route and made it through most of this gym, I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy today's episode, please leave a thumbs up down below. We will be very cautious in the next episode as we go into Pokemon of more similar level to ours. So with that, I'll see you guys next time. Game Slam, signing off.